We're Dirty Gaming and Regilod back at it again. Same image as I reviewed before, but this one is just fully loaded. So rather than the base image and you adding your own ROMs, this is a pre-configured version that they released. And so I want to check it out, see what was going on here. So stay tuned. All right, as we jump on this, this is a uh, 200 gigabyte build. It should fit on most 200 gigabyte SD cards. It is 177 gigabytes, and that's 190 billion, 385 million, 894 thousand bytes. So uh, I believe the two most 200 gigs will fit that. I have it on a 256 gigabyte because my 200 gigabyte SD card has something else on it right now. I didn't want to overwrite. So I have this on a 256, but most 200s will fit just fine. RetroPie 4.4, a ton of scripts added to this. So uh, they've added scripts from David Marty. They've added scripts from uh, Virtual Man and Two Plays. Uh, just, you know, really building off of other people's images and taking what they've done and then just building on top of it. So thanks to all the programmers out there that made this possible, um, including the brand new Bezel Project. For those of you that haven't seen it, um, it kind of started out that... Dwayne Hurst um, built out, if Dwayne Hurst and David Marty built out the, um, the bezel um, script where you can have a specific bezel for every arcade game. But the bezel project took that one step further and now for systems like Super Nintendo or Sega Genesis, you can get a different bezel for every single game. Yeah, that's right. So over 700 different bezels per system, some systems more, some systems less. Really cool stuff. So that script is pre-installed for you. You can update it, add it, easy to do. Background music script added, Dreamcast date and time fix added, Easy Hacks toolkit with all these different fixes on it, including the AimTrack light gun. From what I understand, most people use the Zinmo two player enable and the AimTrack light gun uh, are their two favorite tweaks on here, or adding that hard drive as well. Um, gameless utility, a lot of stuff that was on Motion Blue version 6 is added here. And there's also this jukebox configuration. There is a fix file you need to download, um, but it's very easy to just drag and drop that fix and you can turn your Raspberry Pi uh, 3 into a jukebox, pretty cool. Uh, Cody repair script, launching screens. Um, this one, I believe, has launching videos. So that was something new that was uh, introduced on RetroPie not too long ago. Uh, furthermore, this is running RetroPie version 4.4. Uh, which will allow Raspberry Pi 3 and 3B+. Plus. And it does have a track mode, and it has a ZT-ROM installer. From my, from my understanding on the ZT-ROM installer, they have disbanded uh, for now. Maybe they'll come back later. Um, but the, the downloader should still work, but you shouldn't need it considering this image already has everything on it. But if you're starting with the base image, you might be interested in that. So moving along here, what's on the system? We got 648 Atari 2600. And this is running the Blu-ray theme from Dwayne Hurst. It has video snaps and pictures. Atari 5200, I know a lot of people like to see this, 72. 7800, 58. Atari Lynx Portable, 76. Wonder Swan and Wonder Swan Color, a little under 200, 100 each, about. PC Engine 274, PC Engine CD. You got Hyperdyne and Space Fantasy Zone. TurboGrafx-16, 94. TurboGrafx CD, 5. Super Graphics 5, pretty standard 5 that you see on most images. Game & Watch 55, Virtual Boy 24. All your favorite V-Boy games. Game Boy 565, let's go ahead and check out a Game Boy game, see what kind of bezels we're working with here. As you can see, the loading video. So that is a video file. For those of you new or haven't been here in a little while, that's a brand new feature before you only saw a picture. A loading screen picture and now cool 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 nice bezel here so cool bezels not stretching that screen out to get that original Game Boy feel Game Boy hacks 19 so some uh, hacked versions of games uh, Game Boy Color 535 Game Boy Advance 1036 and just a real quick let's check out the bezel really quick again mmm loading screens I, I think it's cool you know it definitely helps that transition from the uh, from the emulation station with the video snaps to the uh, actual game itself. It kind of keeps the whole thing interactive, so that's cool. All right, love the bezel, high HD bezel, doesn't stretch out the image, love it. 
Game Boy Advance Hacks 26. Nintendo DS 228. Okay, then it's just not a dump on here because these do take up a little bit more space compared to, you know, like a Nintendo game, for example. So if you guys are interested, there you go. Nice to have because Nintendo DS does play well on the Raspberry Pi 3. Family Computer Disk System 90, Nintendo 791, Nintendo Hacks 6. Super Famicom, so the whole dump there, 46. Super NES, 787. Super Nintendo Hacks, you got 37 of those. So there's a lot more hacks out there, so looks like he didn't just throw them all on there. Um, I just went over to Nintendo 64 there. So all the Nintendo 64 games, 309. So that's pretty good. Usually there's about 303. So you must have got some, like Battle Batman Beyond is often one that's omitted. There's a couple games that aren't on there all the time. So it looks like he got them all. Game Gear 249, you should have a nice bezel with that as well, not stretched out. Game Boy Hacks 4, Sega SG-1000, 68, Sega Master System, we have 281, Sega Mega Drive, we can also switch that to Genesis very easily with that, uh, that little script we have there. Sega Mega Drive ha uh, uh, Japanese versions. Uh, Sega Genesis Hacks, 192. Sega 32X, 36 games. Sega CD, 24. Dreamcast, we got eight. We're getting some uh, heat heat issues here. I don't have my pie in a case right now, so that probably is why. Um, Sonic Adventure 2 and Soul Calibur. Neo Geo Pocket 9. Neo Geo Pocket Color 40. Neo Geo 146. PSP, you've got Chess Master and Ultimate Board Game. Minis, you got the whole dump there. PlayStation 145. This theme's kind of cool because PlayStation's a CD-based system, so cool to see the uh, the Blu-ray theme really goes well with the PlayStation. So if you want to see what PlayStation games you got, a lot of really good ones. Mega Man's, Metal Slug, Pac-Man, Rampage, Ridge Racer, Road Rash, Street Fighters, Strider, Tomb Raider, Tony Hawk's, all of them. WWF X-Men, so how many? 145, not bad. Arcade games, 2361, that's pretty good. So that's going to be all your CPS games and your main games. Daphne, 13. A lot of people, you know, they're really, they like Daphne. So there you go, an image with Daphne. Light gun games, 41. So those putting on an aim track light gun. Or some of these games like Jurassic Park actually works pretty good with an analog controller. Um, really cool. Some really good games there. Amiga 340. So cool to see some Amiga games running. Uh, if you missed it, we did Amiga only image, which was running really good. So Amiga, some great titles. Terminator 2 Judgment Day, arcade game being one of my favorites. Atari ST even, very nice to see. I know a lot of people like that, over 400 there. Commodore 64, 147. CPC 3200, wow, that's a dump if I've ever seen one. Coley, Co, Vision, yes, I know, pronunciations, mm-hmm, and MSX1, 567, MSX2, 83, PC Games, 95, so some DOS box here, a lot of pinball, oh, it's all pinball, it's actually not 87, it's more like, just all pinball, it looks like it's more closer to like 20, Scum BM, 52, nice to see, Leisure Shoot Larry, fun stuff, The Dig, Sam and Max Hit the Road, good stuff, Vetrix, 20, Video Pack 49, ZX Sinclair 375, Z Machine 3, you got the Zorks. Ports, you got uh, Chromium, so you can watch um, your Netflix from your Raspberry Pi on there. Cody, and then Pixel, if you're going to use it. Stream, this allows you to stream uh, from your computer to your Pi. Chromium, another shortcut that you can get from Ports. And then the Jukebox, Cody, Pixel, again, you can get that from the Ports, Power, Shutdown. And then you're back on your setup. It looks like he does not have all games um, selected here. So we can add that here. Let's go ahead and here. All games, favorites, last played. Let's add those in. All right, we'll go back there. And then this also has additional themes installed as well. So we can go ahead and check out the themes in a moment. We can also see total amount of games on here. I know it's going to be pretty epic. All right, UI settings. So you have Blu-ray. Dark Switch or Blu-ray are the only installed themes, but very easy to add others. All games, we have 16,886. That's a lot. That's a lot. But again, I mean, you saw some of these were dumps, things like that. You know, 
Don't get distracted by the numbers. Favorites, none. He does not have any. Oh, he has four. Chrono Trigger, Earthworm Jim, Flashback, Snatcher. Last played. Okay, he's messing with his jukebox. Very nice. Jurassic Park. It's a lot of games. Mario Kart 64. All right, and here we are in a track mode, nested system. So if you go to consoles up here, once you're in consoles, once you're in consoles, you should be able to see all your consoles. So we can go A, any of these, so SG-1000, for example. So this is based on Hyper Pi version 2. If we go into Sega CD here, then we have our CD games. We can scroll like this. Beautiful stuff. We can go to the right and left to go to the next system. We can go ahead and uh, launch a game here. Alright, and we're in a Neo Geo game. Here we go. Ooh, broke the glass. Liking the uh, bezels here, very cool. Custom bezel for the game because of the bezel project. Ooh. There we go. Yeah. Start select out. And here we are back in a track mode. We can go back to home here. We can go to computers, for example. Should be nested up. Shows all our different computer based systems. So Amiga, PC games, Sinclair, Amstrad. You can go ahead and click in. And there you go, you got your games. Just hard scroll if you like. Go quicker, click on it. Boom. Blacktron. Backgammon. Backtrick. Dream. And uh, we can go ahead and go back. And there we are. Back to that. And we go back again. Back to the mainstream. If you want to do portables, you'll see all your portable systems. There you go. Game Boy Hacks. Boom. Go in. And you got Game Boy Hacks. So something to note is you still get all the same scripts you got in Emulation Station. So before, you know, a lot of people had to go between Emulation Station and a track mode, but a lot of handy dandy scripts for you right here. Easy to get in and out to go back to Emulation Station, add games, delete games, all can be done here very easily. And uh, if you want to go back to Emulation Station, there you go. Depending on where you boot into is how your Pi will boot up. So there you have it, We're Dirty Gaming, releasing the uh, fully loaded help with Regilod. I've also, maybe I've been pronouncing his name the whole time, but I've also heard Regal, some people call him that. Anyways, those two dudes are uh, making a great image here, all the bells and whistles. Um, lately though, a lot of these ultimate images, the 128s, the 200s, the 256s, have been coming pre-installed with a lot of this stuff. I would say something that a lot of them don't come with is maybe the Chromium, uh, maybe the shortcuts in the emulation station, and maybe not every single script known to man. 
which seems to be on here. Uh, but everything from overclocking, bezel project, it's all on there for you already. And then it is fully loaded. With all that said, I'm going to have to give this one an A. I mean, it's definitely cool. It has a wide selection. It's uh, on the latest version of RetroPie. Uh, my only beef, the same beef I had with the last one, is uh, with the strippers in the uh, boot up screen. It's cool. I get it. It's awesome if you're into that. But some people, you know, parents around, you know, if you have guests over and you boot up your Pi, I wouldn't want that thing going across my screen if my mom was over or, you know, whatever the case might be. So it's really easy to disable that. But I think it personally, I think it should be switched around that you should be able to enable it. It should not come pre enabled. It's great to see evolutions, more things coming out, beautiful, uh, everything from all the video snaps working to the huge collections from portables to consoles to computer systems, all working great on the Raspberry 3B and B+. Um, that's what I think. Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.